This week we read the parsha of Pekudei, but also a special Torah reading of the parsha of Shagalim. Shagalim is means money. You go to Israel now, the currency is called the shekel. Shekel is a type of money, like we have the dollar bill. Or in, in Europe you have the euros. So in Israel it's called the shekel, which means money. So what type of money did the Jews have to use in the time of the desert? So God commanded the Jews to give a coin to count them. He wanted to count the amount of Jews that they were. He wanted everyone to give a coin. But the question, but the question is, he didn't want to give them a full coin. He said, give half a coin. Half a coin. Why are we giving half a coin? Give a full coin. It's not like there's any big difference between them. And it's a beautiful answer which is given. Is that God is teaching all of us a lesson. He said, you know, only give half. If a person feels they can do everything on their own, if they think they're complete, then that's a mistake. Sometimes in life we feel that we're on our own, we don't need anyone's help, we could just do it. And this could be our attitude, and maybe we have been successful. But ultimately, ultimately, we always need partners in our life, whether it's our family, our friends. So therefore, God says, give half a coin in order that there should be somebody else to partner with you. Look for a partner, accept a partner, help you on your mission in life. If you do so, then both of you will be able to complete it in its finest manner. <clears throat> we'll now continue with the singing of Lechadoti, the song we sing Friday night, written by the great Rabbi of Shoma Alkabitz in the late 1400s. Lechadoti hodi lekras kala pnei shabbos nekabela lechadoti lekras kala pnei shabbos nekabela shamor v'zachor v'dibur echad Ish me yahanu kel ham yukhar hashem echor Ushma ho yachor l'shem o sefer ez v'lesila Chad odi l'kras kala Nehe shabbos nekabela L'kras shabbos v'chu v'nelcha Ki hi me kor ha verocha me rosh mi kedem ne sucha Tov ma sebe ma shavot hila lecha dodi le kras kala Ne he shavos ne kabela mikdash melech Ir melucha kumiti mitocha hafecha Rav lo shevez v'yemecha bocha v'ho yachamol Ala yechem la lecha dodi lekras kala Nei shavoz nekabela hisnarim yofar kumi Live she big day, sefarte, chami, al ya, ben ye, shai beis, aloch me, karva el nav, she ge, yahala, lecha, dodi, le cross, kala, nehe shabos, ne kabela, his horary, his horary, kiva horeko me yori, Uri, uri, shir da beiring, eva or Hashem, ala yich nigla. Lecha da hodi lekras kala, nei shavaz nekabela, v'hayulim shisa, shahos ayich, v'racha kukom eva hala yich, yosis ala yich elokayich, Kim sozcha sona kala lecha dodi lekras kala Pnei shabos nekabela yamin usmol tehrozi V'yez Hashem daritzi Al yad ben yishai beit zoloch mi karvo el nav shigi yala lecha dodi lekras kala Pnei shabos nekabela bawi b'shalom 
Atares Bala Gambari no Vita Hala Toka Mune Yam Sigula Bawi Kala Bawi Kala Leka Dodi Lekras Kala Nesha Bos Nekabila As we get closer to the holiday of Purim, just in just two weeks from now, we'll continue a little bit more with the Purim story. So the wicked Haman, Haman, he put a decree to wipe out the entire Jewish nation. And the Jewish people didn't know what to do. And they thought it was hopeless. Yet, the one card they had, they knew that Queen Esther, who was a Jew, a Jewish woman, was in the king's palace as the queen of the king Achishverosh. Yet he did not know she was a Jew. She hid her identity for this reason. Finally, the moment in time came when Mordechai said to her and said, listen, you have to go ahead and tell the king you're Jewish and that your nation is going to be destroyed if something is not done. And she was nervous. She said, if I do that, he will kill me. And Mordechai answered, he said, listen, you may be right, but this could be your moment in your life where God put you in that situation for that reason. And the lesson is that a lot of times in life, things are coming, things are going, no great things are happening. And then we find these moments of greatness that appear before us. Will we step up to the plate? Will we be able to do something which is really difficult? It doesn't mean grandiose things, but sometimes even small things which are difficult. We always have to remember, yes, maybe God did put us in this position for this reason, to stand up to the challenge. And if we have the attitude and we stand up to challenge, you know, God will help us get through. We're now finished with the singing of Adon Olam. Adon Olam Asher Malach Betarem Kol Yitzir Nivra Lies Nasa Bechev Sokol Azai Mehalech Shemo Nikha Viyachare Kichlos Hakol Levahado Yimloch Nora Vuhaya Vuhove Lo yihye besifarah v'hoh echad v'yein sheni. Ham shilo lehach v'ira v'li reishis v'li sachlis v'lo ho'od v'hamitra v'hu keili v'chai g'wali V'tur chev levi yez nasa v'hu nisi u'manosli Menas kosi b'yom ekra b'yahado avkid ruchi Yez ishan v'yahira v'yem ruchi g'v'yasi Ado shem li v'lo v'yram I'm going to have a happy and healthy week. Great weekend, a great Shabbat. We'll see everybody next week.